In African patriarchal culture, women have for thousands of years been perceived to be inferior to men and a property to be owned. However, this is slowly changing because women are rising up and demanding for their rights with support from several state and non-state actors. Thousands of women and girls are being empowered to champion their cause and break barriers of well-entrenched societal norms and customs that hinder them from enjoying their rights to realize their full potential. As ActionAid Uganda, we work with women, we work with women groups, we work with women movements and their coalitions as well as their organizations uh, to support women, uh, to uplift them, not just economically, but socially, politically. We support women with startup kits. We support women with trainings, especially around feminist leadership, transformative leadership. We want women to participate in leadership, to influence the decision agenda. Sabano Zerida is a true definition of disability is not inability. Growing up in a society that does not appreciate women and being disabled meant that the odds were firmly staked against her. Her strong will coupled with being empowered by action aid enabled her to become the woman she is today, Chiboko district speaker and a woman counselor for people with disabilities. In the Bugwere here, people used to believe that a woman, especially for us, they really they're disabled. Let me talk about myself. It is, it is abnormal, it is culture-wise. You cannot be in an office, a disabled person, to be a leader. So they, they, have, they have educated us, we have come out broadly to, de, to advocate for our rights that no, we are equal, we are human beings, we are able, we can do this. And actually we are showing them that we can do that. Zerida is now using advocacy skills gotten from action aid trainings to champion several causes at district and sub-county level. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that every school, every sub-county, they, they, they budget for that sanitary pad issue because it is one of the major causes of high school dropout of the girl child. I have to make sure uh, the toilets, the structures, the sub-county, even the schools, at least they are disability friendly. 50-year-old Sevno Lucy, a mother of nine children from Kamuge Subcounty, Palisa District, helplessly watched as her 20-year-old marriage crumbled under the weight of years of extramarital affairs and physical and psychological abuse from her husband. She had to flee from home when he married a second wife and threatened to kill her, but she had nowhere to seek refuge. <laughs> nze sili ne kisera ate okugamba ati inone ente okwata bawo owole akusala akusala ane akaso ebe bibyo owa akola chayagala chakola kwanga mali ye nga matata yali e mali yange ngali munnaku sawe nankola watyo minka ba maziga her fortunes changed for the better when she visited action aid gender based shelter that offers legal and psychosocial support to victims of gender based violence Kati ne bandeta mukoti ne bampa loya a kati nze nindeta bananka ne banga bajulize bange babiri kati action aid ne nyamba na ampa loya ntukola na manyi kati ni ni singo musango 213 Lucy, now an empowered, hard-working woman, has picked herself up, stopped wallowing in self-pity, and set up a thriving business for selling second-hand clothes. She has also been able to buy this plot, constructed this huge business house, and bought a shop within town to support her family. Action aid Jew! Kwanga ye tata wangene kikachi angena bana bange. Kwanga singa, singa si action aid. Singa sindi siri wewe ti. Singa na afada. Wanga na rinja gara no kunye dagara. For 75 year old Nora from Kaliki village, Palisa district, her woes started when her husband passed on. Her brothers in law, with support from the clan, ganged up and evicted her and the children from her matrimonial home. Okay, kina lawyer, asomo. Ake asomo. I'm a 
Oso da itiaka, atiaka kinongo, kere ke ka tunga ka ngunga nuka kutusai tunye unungunye. Kere ka ka ape sur. O tiaki do eloya, atiaka kini ape sur ngundo wa ekeche, enyaka kine tongo da ere. Toni do kwa na, ajia ido berongo chuti, ajio kuna. Abu eloya ngu nike nga rako ngonoi. However, through mediation efforts organized by Action Aid, she was able to reclaim her house and land. She has also benefited immensely from Action Aid empowerment trainings, and no one can now trample on her rights again. Action Aid is also supporting women at household level to realize that they do a lot of unpaid care work with little or no time for leisure compared to their husbands. Unpaid care work project is about the rest of the community members realizing that women need support. Even when they are doing work that is not bringing in income in the home, but it is work that is equally important, that is equally productive for the family, and they need a hand or support from other members of the family, like a husband, like the boys in the home. Evrance Namugwere is a mother of 12 children. Before she took part in action aid trainings on unpaid care work, her home was a symbol of abject poverty, violence and ignorance. Bakazi banyome wanyu mu maka. Mukasera ko ngache basomesa ko dala chechirie wange wano. Ngasina wade nyumba jetwe bakamu. Ngandia ono wana wange tubulina wade ngweze bwambala. Ngasina wade chindu chona chensoro okwe kolera ngo muchara. Ngandi a wenti on tula wutu zi wange wano, no mwami wange tu tula wano mukaembe wano, ni tubeda wano, nga tuna chindu chona chetu sola kwe kolerao. After training by Action Aid, the couple now plan and work together for the betterment of their family. The husband chips in and does housework in case the wife is busy. By working together, the family has been able to turn their fortunes around. Action tuli mirembe, tuwa kwa itemba gotulima, tukwata kwa to kulisia, tukwata kwa to mbunaba anaba iswe, tutanjo kwe zimba, tuzimba maka, tuteka mabisoro, tubifuna, tutanjo kulima mandimiro, tutanjo kulisia, ewe nitu ya tutumurika ngedala, bitu tuwele sawa, ya tuli kusaa. Apula Skedi is an inspiration to many women in Gongoyo sub-county, Palisa district. She is the only woman local council chairperson out of 42 positions in the sub-county. Despite her position, she has been able to set up a model home because she works closely with her husband, sharing all household chores. This has promoted respect and peace in their home. I'm really very happy. I can see a very big change because now I share with my husband decision makings, Together we do. This work, our homework, we share. Like washing, we wash together sometimes. Even him alone, he can wash if I don't, if I don't have time. Even he can cook if I have some certain work to do. Can even wash plates. Can even base children, which makes me happy. And I feel like even other men to copy that. And it is not only me. Some people have copied it because Action Aid always carries sensitization meetings. Right now, when she's preparing food, I'm washing here, we eat at a, 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 normal, a normal whatever, a normal time. At around one, we are now getting our lunch. But during the other times, we knew the, the lady was washing, uh, doing what, you, you at least you find that you eat at 10, I mean at 4, our lunch. But these days, I, I think it is okay. Action Aid will continue to support and stand with women and young people and their organizations to address these injustices. Action Aid and stakeholders will continue to partner for better lives in the communities inspired by the fact that change for the better is possible.
I must say that we have struggled with the patriarchal tendencies that continue to oppress women, to subjugate them, and militate against the enjoyment of social and economic rights in the community. And this is underpinned by the social and cultural norms that are deep-seated in the community. This is a big challenge and it's structural, but we hope that by working with them, by uh, going through these mentorship sessions and opening them up, they can take this head on.